Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part B of our 14th video of our playlist, Power of Data Analysis. So we are viewing the pending document exceptional report. In this video, we will see the outstanding of net receivable and net payable. And also we will see how it is important and critical for us to reconcile the net outstanding along with the financial statement values that is being reported in balance sheet. Now, important thing that I want to highlight here is that since now the audit season is going to start for many companies, this exceptional reports related to data analysis will help the accounts department in any organization to quickly check all the exceptions and correct the exceptions, modify and take action against those exceptions and then clean up the books of account. And then if they provide the books of account to their auditors for audit, the exceptions will be much lesser and the audit will also be smoother. And from the auditor's point of view, if you are an audit staff or if you are an auditor, before you start your audit program, this data verification and analysis report will help you to basically ascertain the scope of the amount of audit work and time it is going to require. So let us go to tally and explore the pending document of net receivable and payable. In the previous video, we explored the pending documents of purchase orders and sales orders. And also we saw pending bills of goods received but bill not received and goods delivered but bills not made. In this report, we shall view the reports related to net pending receivables and net pending payables. Beyond the outstanding information, it also gives us other exceptional information. Let us drill down to net pending receivables. Select net pending receivables and press enter. Look at the screen here. The first column lists out the sundry debtor parties. The second column lists the total amount or the balance amount pending for each one of the party. The next column gives the detail of number of bills pending for the pending amount. Let us take the example of Olive IT Solutions. The pending amount is 26,345. There are two bills pending for this total value of 26,345. Now, if you want to view the details of the invoice, select the ledger. We have already selected the ledger and all you have to do is just press enter and you will see the list of bills pending two bills along with the opening amount which is the opening balance then the pending amount we can also view the due date and overdue by number of days again if you want to view the detail of the bill and receipt all you have to do is just press alt f5 and we will get the detail information escape and come back. Now this is the total pending amount. In case if you want to view the outstanding with aging analysis on the right hand side button, click on F6 aging method and here select method of aging. We can select as aging by due date enter and here you can specify the aging period. So I have set as 0 to 30, 30 to 60, 60 and above. You can change as per your requirement, accept. And now we can view the total pending amount age wise less than 30 days, 30 to 60 days. There are no invoices pending and greater than 60 days. These are the total value of amount pending. Let's go back and come back to net pending receivable. Now, very important activity. This report helps in reconciling the net outstanding with sundry debtors value as per balance sheet. Now notice that there is one ledger here, though it has debit balance, but it has been grouped 
wrongly under sundry creditors. This is another exception we can quickly verify which requires to be regrouped later. Now if you notice here the net pending receivable amount as per this report is 4,24,422. Now we have to reconcile with the balance sheet value. Now to check the balance sheet value all you have to do is click on go to type balance sheet select balance sheet enter bring your cursor to current asset and press shift enter here to explore the current asset group now when you come down to sundry debtors you will see here that the sundry debtors balance outstanding as per balance sheet is 2,91,205 there's a huge difference between the previous report and our balance sheet value this is where we are going to now perform the reconciliation activity to see why there is this difference. Let us select sundry debtors now and drill down into sundry debtors and you will see the values which are in credit also. So the total debit value here is 4,35,383 and the credit value is 1,44,168. For the time being, let us ignore this value as this will reflect in net payable report. So why this credit balances here? It is obvious that these parties where there are credit balance, they should have been actually classified under sundry creditors. But for some reason, they have wrongly classified under sundry debtors. So these are the ledgers. Now let us concentrate on the debit value of 4,35,383. Whereas in the pending report, as I mentioned, we saw it is 4,24,422 as net receivable. Now let us reconcile. Surely we cannot have different value for the same group in one report and in another report. Now notice here, the first line item, it says sales bills to make 11,000 rupees. And this is also getting added to our sundry debtors total. If you recall, we had discussed about this in our previous video, the reason for sale will to make. Now the question is, why Tally is adding this value here, even though the bills are not raised, that is, it is classified. Again, if you see, it says sale bill to make. Since the goods have been delivered, but the invoice is not been raised, that is why it is included in the total sundry debtors value. So this again helps the organization to quickly check for all the materials that have been delivered, but invoices have not been raised and quickly raise the invoice and finalize the books of accounts. Now for us to reconcile, since this bill is not raised, the outstanding amount obviously has not arised. Let us now reduce this 11,000 rupees from the total of 4,35,383. We will get the amount of 4,24,383 here. Again, if you see this total of 424,383 minus the value that we saw in the previous report, there is a difference of 39 rupees. So let us see why there is a difference of 39 rupees. Let us now go to the pending report. Press escape, one more escape and we are here. Now this 39 rupees difference is that Sujana Enterprises having debit balance but wrongly classified under sundry creditors. So if this gets classified under sundry debtors, then this difference amount of 39 will go away and we will see now the difference between the sundry debtors balance which is the debit balance as per balance sheet and the sundry debtors net pending receivable will match. This is how this report is very handy in ascertaining the sundry debtors balances. Now let us come back to net pending payables. Select net pending payables and press enter. So if you notice here, the information that we are seeing in red here is again these ledgers are having credit balances but they are wrongly classified under sundry debtors 
Now, this is the total amount of that rupees 1,44,168, which we saw on the credit side of the Sunday debtors. Now, just to cross verify and to ensure that this total adds up to the value of 1,44,168, all we have to do is we have to hide the correct ledgers which are classified under sundry creditors. So how do we do that? Select the ledger which are not an exceptional ledger and you have to press Ctrl R. By pressing Ctrl R, that selected line item will get hidden from the report. And if you notice, the value also will get updated automatically. So let me hide all the list of names which are in black because they are the correct classification. So I'm going to press Ctrl R. Just observe at the total at the bottom. Ctrl R, Ctrl R, Ctrl R. Now this is again the proper ledger. Again Ctrl R. These are exceptional ledgers in red color. I come down here and press Ctrl R, Ctrl R. Now you will see all the wrong classifications under sundry debtors totals up to 1,44,000. 168 which is the amount we saw on the credit side by regrouping these ledgers your balance as per the statement and balance as per balance sheet will match now to view the balance of sundry creditors and the balance as per this report follow the steps as i showed earlier now we have to restore all the hidden lines so how do we restore come down here click on the blue arrow which is restore line there's a blue arrow click on this and you have other button which says if you use the keyboard shortcut alt u this is control u to restore a single line because we want to restore all the hidden line so you're going to press alt u to restore all line so just click here and now let me use the keyboard shortcut alt u and you'll notice that all the hidden ledgers are now back again. Now in the last column under the net pending payables, we are seeing the on account vouchers for two parties. There are on account vouchers. One payment voucher for this party is on account and for another party it's on account, which means the payment made to these parties have not been set off against the actual pending bill. Now to view the information select and press enter the party where there is on account transaction and we will now see here the on account information now if you want to view the detail of this information again remember you will have to press shift enter it will now explode select the payment voucher if you want to go inside the voucher to rectify the on account as against reference select the payment voucher and press control enter it will take you inside the voucher and here you can select the party it could be advance amount paid so we can select as advance or if there is outstanding you can set it off against the outstanding bill i hope this report will give you an idea of how we are able to quickly reconcile the balance outstanding as per the financial statement and the pending document net receivable and payable. And we also saw that how you can quickly reclassify the wrong classifications of credit balance being classified under sundry creditors and debit balance being classified under sundry creditors. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.